United States has just unveiled the first flying car of all time, and it might very well become the transportation of the future. But is the flying car just a myth? Are there limitations to the use of flying cars? The answers to these questions have not been fully revealed. Nevertheless, we will try to learn more about this in the following video. Today, it's the automotive company Aleph Aeronautics that is launching the first flying car of all time, something that the most knowledgeable specialists in the field can only dream of. And even more surprising, the American government fully approves this project. So doesn't this sound incredible to you? It sounds too good to be true, but all of this is very real. Pre-orders are even already open, but for some, such a car could very well be a terrible scam at over $300,000. So, we will try to separate fact from fiction on ATEC. Are we facing a revolution in the automotive industry? Can the flying car really move from myth to reality? Is the flying car the transportation of the future? That's what we are going to find out right now. First of all, let's go back to the birth of the flying car, as well as its history. The automotive and aviation industries were born around the same time. They could have created a common product, but that didn't really happen. Since the beginning of the last century, only a few prototypes of flying cars have been created. The first of them could very well have been the all-aluminum autoplane, designed in 1917 by the legendary American aircraft builder, Glenn Curtis. However, this attempt was a huge failure. Subsequently, many trials were made, but few were successful. It was after World War II that the idea of a flying car really took root in people's minds. The American Robert Fulton was the first to stand out in the field, creating the Airphibian. This device was the first flying car to be certified by the Civil Aeronautics Administration, the predecessor of the Federal Aviation Administration, more commonly known as the FAA. But investors didn't buy into the project at all. Later, it was the turn of Molt Taylor's auto car to catch our attention. An improved version of the Airphibian, this device was built in six copies. It even received its flight certification in 1956. Molt Taylor even managed to convince investors of the viability of his project. However, they imposed 500 firm orders for the creation of the company. Of course, Taylor couldn't meet this condition, so he had to abandon the project. After this failure, defective prototypes multiplied. But today, the flying car is about to see the light of day thanks to Alef Aeronautics. For many, the flying car is just a myth. Yet, who hasn't dreamed of borrowing Arthur Weasley's Ford Anglia from the famous Harry Potter saga? Indeed, this very special car is an integral part of our imagination, largely formed by science fiction books and movies. However, automotive transportation remains mostly land-based, but recently, the design of flying vehicles has been making impressive progress, as evidenced by the emergence of a brand new term, eVTOL. This acronym, standing for Electronic Vertical Takeoff and Landing, refers to a type of electric aircraft. The latter combines vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. Unlike conventional airplanes, they are powered by electric motors, making them much quieter and less polluting. As a result, they are often designed for urban transportation or serve as air taxis. They thus offer a more flexible and sustainable aerial mobility solution. Nevertheless, the flying car market is being established in the long term. The main limitation to the use of flying cars comes mainly from its regulations. The cost of training to operate such a device must also be taken into account. Indeed, flying cars have very particular controls. Initially, private individuals will therefore not be able to own their own flying car. But there are still many questions, particularly in terms of reliability and safety. Manufacturers still have a lot of work to do on these particularly innovative technologies. As you've probably understood, Aleph Aeronautics is launching the first flying car of all time. The Model A is therefore the first certified flying car. This car represents a unique convergence between the automobile and aviation, giving birth to a two-seater vehicle with an entirely electric motor. Moreover, this machine has the ability to integrate harmoniously into road infrastructures. Indeed, it is equipped with four wheels and manages to adapt wonderfully to an urban landscape. You will therefore have no problem parking with the Model A. Additionally, when necessary, drivers can switch from ground mode to air mode in no time. According to Aleph Aeronautics, 
A simple professional drone pilot license should be enough to use the Model A legally. Moreover, by taking off vertically, the flying car avoids land traffic jams by skillfully flying over the traffic. Drivers can bypass obstacles and save precious time daily. With a range of 200 miles on the road, equivalent to 322 kilometers, and 110 miles in the air, equivalent to 177 kilometers, the vehicle allows for greatly simplified travel. However, it should not be forgotten that the Model A must meet specific needs. Since its creation in 2015, Aleph Aeronautics has ensured that its vehicle has the same characteristics as a conventional car, can take off vertically, and that its price remains relatively affordable. Is this really the case? Nothing is certain. In any case, the Model A is not likely to please everyone. Is this car really ready to carry passengers? For now, the machine is still in the testing stage. We are still far from commercializing or seeing it in daily aerial circulation. However, the goal is simple, to make it a real taxi. But this is expected to take a lot of time, as the concept of flying taxis requires a particularly high level of safety. However, Aleph Aeronautics is ready to take on all challenges. Jim Dukovny is the mastermind behind this extraordinary concept. At the helm of Aleph Aeronautics, he hoped to be the first company in industrial history to validate and open up this market. In fact, four creators are behind this company. They are Konstantin Kiesley, Pavel Markin, Oleg Petrov, and of course, Jim Dukovny. Legend has it that they sketched the first drawing of a flying car on a napkin while having coffee together. The Model A thus evolved from a simple drawing to a perfectly real project. It is true that this is more of a niche market, most likely aimed at wealthy owners or companies. However, the tech world is often full of surprises. Proof of this, Aleph Aeronautics has just won an unexpected victory. Indeed, the company obtained FAA certification. The latter is responsible for regulations and controls concerning civil aviation in the United States. By winning the Special Airworthiness Certificate, the Model A can now legally fly in authorized airspace. The US government therefore approves the project, which is a first. Furthermore, pre-orders have already been recorded for an amount of over 200 million euros, which corresponds to 834 vehicles. Indeed, each car costs $300,000. But this does not seem to impress revolutionary mobility enthusiasts. The first lucky ones should be delivered by 2025. This market launch could announce an upcoming mass production of the Model A. Thrilled by this success, Aleph Aeronautics already has other projects. Are we facing a massive deployment of these vehicles of the future? But how exactly does Aleph Aeronautics Model A work? This flying car is unique in its kind. Indeed, the company has developed a propulsion system composed of eight powerful rotors. After its vertical takeoff, the car rotates sideways, causing the two-seater cabin to turn 90 degrees. This allows it to maintain a vertical position. However, according to the company's presentation video, the Model A maintains a horizontal position. Its thrusters are oriented downwards to maintain a kind of stability when the car is hovering. Finally, when the driver wants to move forward, the body of the machine tilts in the desired direction, allowing it to change trajectory. According to Aleph Aeronautics, this has no impact on the passengers. Thanks to its propellers, the Model A is also a clever mix between a drone and an electric car. Certainly, this technology is very simple, but it is innovative due to its efficiency. However, for many, the price of Aleph Aeronautics Model A is exorbitant. It is true that the promise of revolutionary mobility comes at a price, and not a small one. The Model A thus positions itself as a high-end vehicle. Some opponents of the project denounce it as a real scam. They even doubt the possible commercialization of such a means of transport. Is the design of the Model A really realistic? Is this project viable? Is the market for this type of innovation in full revolution? It seems so. Indeed, several companies are working on their own version of the flying car. On the side of Hyundai, the car manufacturer promises the arrival of its eVTOL SA1 by 2028. Joby Aviation has also received approval to test its first flying taxi. 
designed to transport a pilot as well as four passengers. Finally, Archer Aviation has unveiled the first prototype of its Archer Midnight and plans to complete its construction very quickly. But as you have probably understood, Aleph Aeronautics has not said its last word. We are also eager to learn more about the company's next project, the Model Z. Much more efficient and for a price 10 times lower, this model is expected to appear by 2035. It should be able to transport four to six people. It will also have a range of 480 kilometers on the road and 350 kilometers in flight. If hydrogen is used, it is even possible to achieve a range of 800 kilometers. These figures seem phenomenal, but they are real. Moreover, it should only cost $35,000. So it's high time for the flying car to evolve. Aleph Aeronautics is revolutionizing the world of tech and industry. The company has just unveiled the first flying car of all time. Despite its value of $300,000, the Model A is unanimously praised by car enthusiasts. Today, the myth of the flying car is becoming a reality, especially since the project has been approved by the US government. So what is the future of Aleph Aeronautics Model A?